Well, it was the first time out for Marquette County's Waterfall Week, and it was a big success for everyone involved. The Marquette County Convention and Visitors Bureau and all of the breweries involved were looking for a big turnout. Uh, and winter looked like it was really going to dampen the mood. But luckily, a mild heat wave was enough motivation to get people out and about. The Ordock Brewing Company saw a huge spike in business thanks to the waterfall experience and some fresh faces. I was really impressed with the people who came it, from all over. There was people I had never seen into our business, which was obviously a promotion that we had strived for, but just to see the uptake was amazing. You know, families, anywhere from couples and families, groups of women, groups of men. We even had several older couples that had came in and actually printed their pictures off and were very excited to show me. Everyone had really great comments. People were sending pictures. It just, it really turned out amazing. The geocaching uh, scavenger hunt was also another big hit for the event. Those who ventured to the seven featured falls and were able to figure out the riddle were entered into the prize drawing. The winners were drawn at random this afternoon inside Switchback Gear Exchange and ABC 10 was on hand for those results. Here's how it went. Troy and Lisa Matson won t-shirts from all of the participating pubs. Sue Negri netted a Switchback gift card and Amanda Blondo now has $200 towards the hotel or motel of her choosing in Marquette County. So congratulations to everyone who took in the brews and the views. And if you missed out on the action, don't worry. Plans for next year's Waterfall Week are already underway with commemorative pints and a possible kickoff party to boot.